All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to be doing a box opening on a little grass trimmer I bought. It's a little battery operated push one. Just kind of easier on uh, your back type deal versus holding it, you know, weird. This one has wheels on it, you just push it. And it has batteries as well. Now this is made by a company called El Cipico, something like that. And uh, it's on Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you can kind of see if you like it. Uh, we're gonna put it together today and then we're gonna test it out. And I got a few trouble spots that I kind of want to test it out on and uh, we'll go from there. So box in a box, pretty typical with uh, Amazon. So, okay, let's see how this is gonna go. A bunch of parts here. I'm just gonna lay them all out. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to plug these batteries in uh, just to kind of get them going so we can test this out as soon as we can. And then we're just going to kind of put this thing together. Comes with some glasses. Uh, I already have glasses so I don't need these but it comes with them. Nice to have around, always good to have safety glasses. Comes with a blade, comes with some metal blades and then some plastic blades as well. The plastic blades are probably just more for grass. I'm gonna use the metal ones just because they seem like they're gonna last longer. As far as the, um, the saw blade, uh, this is really more for cutting down some thicker stuff. Okay, so we got a picture of this thing and we're gonna, we're gonna put it together based off the picture. We're gonna see how easy it is. Now it has a little extender here. Make it longer, taller, shorter people. So we'll just keep it all the way down for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and build this little, uh, thing going. All right, so yeah, we'll put this on first. This is just your grab bar for your second hand. I guess you need to pick it up. Seems like it's gonna go on like this. Clips right on there, you see that? And then we'll just put this back in here. And uh, we'll keep it a little bit loose for now and we'll adjust it uh, later on as needed. Okay, so you just kind of put it on there, like right here, the, the nut side. You don't need a wrench, and then you just take the whole wheel and you turn, you turn the middle part right here, and it tightens up real easy. Yeah, nice design actually. So again, let's do this from the beginning. It's gonna go in like this. You're gonna slide it in. So it's flush, put it in whichever hole you desire. I'm going with the, the middle hole. So get it started and then kind of just hold it down with your finger and then just turn this. 
and it tightens up the whole thing. And it has a nylon uh, washer in it, so it's a locking nut. So you don't have to worry about it backing up. And if it's too too tight, just loosen it up a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, piece back on. So it just kind of, like I said, it slides in there. And then turns to lock in. All right, so we're gonna put on the blades, which I'm gonna go with metal. It comes with a bunch of extra blades too, which is nice. Like it has an extra metal blade. Slide this down. Put on this, then the washer, and then here. Comes with a little wrench to tighten this up. And it's tight. This little guy clicks in here. It's more of a guard, I think. I don't really know what it is. It has a button here to adjust. Go all the way down if you want. Maybe sit on the ground while you do it. Stand up and then in between. All right, battery's all charged up. Let's go ahead and put this thing in here and uh, Kind of test this, this this guy out. All right, so some of this is kind of tall. We're just gonna kind of see how it works, and then we'll try it on the grass, and then uh, maybe somewhere else. gets bogged down a little bit in the higher stuff uh, let's try it on some shorter grass you know some typical uh, you know grass around the edge that you have to do but I got some tall grass over here so let's try that out this is a big these are pretty big weeds Pretty well, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and put the plastic blades on and see what that can do. I'm a little skeptical here on the uh, the plastic ones. We'll see though. After this, we'll try out that saw and see what we can see what that can do. It's pretty good actually. Uh, let's try it on some higher grass uh, and see how it works.
not so bad. I mean, you can see where it took down some of that big stuff pretty easily. This is the plastic blade. Uh, a little impressed with that, actually. All right, I'm gonna throw on this actual blade and uh, we'll see if we can actually cut down some real stuff here. I don't know, uh, we'll see. What I like about this too is this is very easy to change. It's not like some uh, special, you know, weird stuff. Like I've seen a lot of weird stuff on weed eaters where you gotta take a bunch of different pieces off. It can get pretty tedious and you have a lot of pieces that loosen up and, and break. All right, so we'll put this blade on and, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, yeah. All right, let's try the rest of this stuff with the, with the blade, the grass, and then maybe we'll get something else. I put the blade on backwards. I'm gonna fix that real quick. All right, so this is definitely not meant for grass. Let's go ahead and try to find something uh, Woody to cut down. Hanging up. I put the guard up. Let's go ahead and see what uh, this can do. <laughs> I'm just going to lift it off the ground so we can see. You know, that's what it did to it. but I probably would never use that blade. It just seems like it's too weak on this machine. All right, let's put the metal blade back on and then we'll take the guard off and we'll use it like an actual weed whacker. So if you don't need the wheels, uh, you can take, you can take them off and just use it like a regular weed whacker. Let's, uh, let's try that out and see how it looks.
All right, well, you've seen that, that made pretty quick work of that. And uh, did a pretty good job, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. I think this would be perfect for a child, someone you don't quite want to trust with a, with a gas-powered machine. But uh, it works out pretty well. And I definitely uh, think it has its applications. All right, well, hey, if you guys like watching these videos, hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching.